All right, new machine day. This is something I actually purchased in September of 23, and I picked it up uh, yesterday, uh, June June 22nd of 24. So it's been almost eight months. Uh, I actually purchased it from a friend in Iowa, uh, and it is all original. So let me get the cover off of it, and I'll show you what it is. Ta-da! It is a John Deere 750, probably a machine that I never set out to, I, I've ne it's never been on my want list, quote unquote. Um, it was purchased new by my friend's dad in 1984. Um, I don't know the year of the machine yet, I haven't looked in the serial numbers, but it is all original. It's got 1,325 hours. It was purchased new with this blade right here. Blades obviously set outside a little bit, but as far as me and my friend know, um, this machine has never set outside a night, or if it has, it's um, been unusual. So, purchased at uh, Farmer Supply and Sales in Kelowna, Iowa. Um, the only damage is right up here on the hood. There's a small dent right there. Um, you know, you could probably pound that out, but I think that's just the story of the machine. Comes with all the manuals. It even came with a new... Uh, rear warning light right there has a i think that's a that might be a 60 inch deck i haven't measured it don't really care um right now the pto is not working um the rear tires are original the front tires are new in the last few years um i think my friend put you know maybe 20 hours on it 25 hours something like that but there's the hour meter 1,325 hours, just in fantastic shape. I mean, just in, just a peach of a machine. Um, I mean, the three point is all there. There's no leaks anywhere. Um, it is uh, mechanical front wheel assist, uh, not necessarily four wheel drive, no power steering on it. Um, but you know, overall, just a really, really nice machine. Uh, we're probably going to use this just to tow, tow a cart around the yard or something. Um, I might get the PTO fixed in the future if I find a PTO. Um, you know, just just a nice machine. Um, Control-wise, you've got your throttle. Uh, it is a pull to stop the fuel. You have your starter and uh, ignition. It's a collar shift. It is... Um, four speeds plus reverse so it's an eight speed with high and low uh you've got your foot throttle right there you've got your uh, pto control here your diff lock right there uh the red handle is four wheel drive or mechanical front wheel assist and the yellow handle is the rear pto front front pto is this switch right here and as i said it didn't work and then you have cool probably the coolest part and i'm sure they were options i've never really looked up the the uh, sales brochure on these, but you've got your lights and it's got front and rear uh, lights, got flashers, and then it's got a uh, rear work light, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure that was an addition. Uh, draw bar hasn't really been worked. Let's see, a little, little oblong, but not bad. 540 PTO. Um, I don't think that this machine will ever see any, will see much PTO use other than maybe the deck. Um, so interesting thing, so I, I went over the manuals, I forgot to cover this. So this is the steering wheel spinner that he got for his dad in 1984 when he bought it. Um, I actually have some history with this machine. Um, I think it was 2015 or so, maybe 2015, 2016, something like that. I actually went and helped him pick it up and bring it home um, from after his father had passed away. So. Overall, really sweet machine. Uh, we're going to see, probably shouldn't start it from the ground, but we're going to do that. Um, we're going to see how it runs. It should not need glow plugs because it's like 70 some odd degrees this morning. But I mean, there is no smoke on this thing. Oh, I don't think I got the fuel thing far enough forward. I mean, just a peach. I still gotta figure out where the fuel handle, the throttle needs to be 
to get the fuel to, to start it up and everything. But I'm not going to run it too long because I don't want the uh, I don't want to heat up so I can put the cover back on it because I'm not going to do anything with it today. So yeah, just just a nice little machine. I mean, just runs like the top. I took it for a short drive yesterday afternoon and um, just really excited to have it. I mean, I don't think I'll do much with it. I might put five hours a year on it or less, but you know, just really nice machine to have. Um, we'll probably go ahead and, and get it waxed. Um, I don't know if I'll do too many videos on it because I won't use it all that much, but um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you that really nice older compact, subcompact utility tractors still exist. Uh, and this is one of them. So thanks for watching.